Marley and I, we are out of here. We are heading to our next location. on the freeway thinking I'm getting ready to head to Cali and I run into Frog. Let me put on my hazards. Make sure my hazards are on. And here's Frog. Let's get out and see what's what. And then hand him the cute dress that I brought Rosie. So I'll be back. Now that's crazy. I just left Frog. Nothing is wrong with him. He just realized he's going to be at his destination within two hours. So he pulled over to make a cup of coffee. That's all I could say about that. That's it. day very exciting day I am cleaning out my storage you have a hard time giving up stuff downsizing and downsizing but I haven't been here in over six months the only thing I need is important documents. That's about it. So it's time to literally, literally give up everything. Everything. It's been a minute since I did this. Turn down the music. Been a minute. So let's see. Uh, let's go with... Hey, uh, this video is going to be pretty interesting. I am excited. I would love to share with you uh, my next location, but it's going to take a couple of days to get there. So, one, I am back in California because I bit the bullet. As a full-time van lifer, I still had a storage. Uh, my car was in storage and all of that stuff. I sold it all. I got rid of it all. It's been a year and a half. Excuse me, full-time. A lot has happened. We'll get to that on the anniversary. But when I came back here to the home base, one, it was to take care of my steering wheel. First things first, Everybody in every video is saying how squeaky my steering wheel is or was. And yes, it was squeaky because it wasn't aligned. So it it just squeaked the whole entire time. But I let no one touch my van unless it's a dire emergency. And I mean, it got to be an emergency for somebody else to touch my van. So yes, 
I waited that whole entire time until I came back for Mr. Mike. Yes, Mr. Mike to go ahead and take care of the steering wheel. So squeak is gone. We'll get to that in a minute. And my side markers wasn't working. Long story short, it was a blown, a blown fuse. And I couldn't locate it. I didn't know what kind it was. And it was the wrong fuse in the first place. So that was taken care of um, when I got here. But the very next day after I sold my Buick, uh, which was freaking phenomenal. Thank you. And you know who you are. Yes. Anyway, that was a load off my shoulders. Sold my Buick. And I had to go to the DMV to get the bill of sale and all of that. And on my way back from the DMV, a young kid sideswiped me. Yes, I was in a wee bit of a fender bender. Literally, except not only was the fender bent, it was smooth, ripped off the van. This young kid, I'll post a picture somewhere here, there. I'll I'll, I'll put it up. Uh, rip the rip the rip my bumper off here. Let's let's go and check it out. So, not only did my bumper get ripped off. But I end up getting a new one. So therefore, it needs to be painted and all that stuff so it can match the back bumper. But thank God. Thank God. No major damage. It's a little crooked on this side, but it's not very noticeable if you're looking at it head on not noticeable at all and it got this little scratch right here and a wee bit of a dent so when they hit me it caught their car right here and literally just ripped the bumper literally ripped it right off so one of my spots I called them up and they had a bumper so he took it off another Econoline, sat it aside, picked it up, and I had Mr. Arnold, because those are my mechanics, Mr. Mike and Mr. Arnold, go ahead and put that on. I'll post that as well. Well, when I got back into town, this young kid came and sideswiped me. So, yep, we got Miss, yes, sir. So, Mr. Arnold, hello, as always, to set the deck. To put a new bumper back on. Say hi. Hi. But I am on my way out to my next location. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Van life. Is it exciting? Always. So, it is quite early. I couldn't sleep. I was excited to, to get this thing going. I've been back a week. Yes, I've been back a week. First order of business was to uh, take care of the storage, the car, all of that. And then about two, three days lapsed because of dealing with the bumper and all of that. Mr. Marley here. Hi. Hey, buddy. Are you good? All right. So not impressed about being here at all. Homeboy has not been himself. So we are on our way out of here. Um, he's not a city dog. He is not. 
He is desert born, desert raised. He can care less about this foolishness that's taking place out here. Every god darn day, he's looking at me like, um, so we're going to leave today? So, we had a good conversation yesterday, and I told him I was waiting my packages from Amazon. All of my packages arrived, so we're out. Bright and early this morning. We're out of here. So, put my, give me a second, I'll be back. We're back, I'd put my seatbelt on. So, we are on our way out. Garmin is queued up to get to our next location. And let's give this thing a start. And then... What's crazy is, this is so freaking crazy. I had this van going on four years now. And I got it back in 20. It was a quarantine project to start with. And I just figured out how to start my van. I've been starting it wrong this whole entire time. So while I was here this week, Mr start right up no problem so let's put it in gear and listen to this no squeak no squeak <laughs> no squeak here with mr. Marley I'm in route and I saw some snow on the side of the road so I had to stop one, I missed the snow. Two, Mr. Marley, desert born, desert raised. I just want to know how he's going to act in this snow. The, what's left over? What's left over of the snow here in the Sierras? I'm not in the Sierra. Am I in the Sierras? I don't know. I'm in Truckee, Truckee, California. So, I pulled over that exit, get back on on that exit, but we're just going to play a little bit. First of all, he needs to relieve himself, and two, pictures, and three, let's just see how he's going to act in the snow. I can tell you right now, he's definitely a lot like me, do not like the cold. He do not like the cold, so let's just see how he acts not truly comfortable walking this way mister in the snow it's pretty compact pretty compact so let's you ready to go all right let's go where are we at let's go this way It'd be nice if he wasn't around me. Come on. There you go. Choose your steps. Choose your line, as they say in mountain biking. Choose your line. So we walk through the water and we get in the van in the water. Now you got to dry our feet off. That's cute. Well... This is day two, the next day. Marley and I, we spent the night at um, the Love's Truck Stop in, where were we? Fernley, Nevada, in Fernley. We got homeboy right here snacking on some dog treats and yes, a potato chip. Um, it, I have 122 miles to get to where it is I am headed and then I will remain planted for about a week before I go to my final destination. It's just too early to get there but I don't want to drive straight through so I'm just making my way up there and checking out some beautiful land while I'm there. 
So, this took place, what was it? Yesterday. What I found out, turn down my music just in case you can't hear me. What I found out is, loves, at least in Fernley, loves and pilot truck stops have no overnight parking. No overnight. But loves is here and down the street is pilot. They have a lot of dirt lots. So they allow trucks and everybody to overnight there. So that's where I stayed last night was at the pilot. And we hit the road and we came on back. And this is my filling up third time filling up since this morning third time getting a full tank and I still have 122 miles to go so probably on this tank right here it, it should get me there to my final destination so I had to stop use the bathroom get my drink get Marley a snack as you can see yes he he likes his snack and let him out, stretch his legs, use the bathroom, and go from there. So, I'll get back to you when I'm planted 122 miles from now. Be back shortly. I think we're here. chair mm-hmm cool beans though all right there go mr. frog 